We're, we're adopting. adopting. We're adopting. We're adopting. We're adopting. Asian kid. <laughs> somewhere in Korea. Somewhere in Korea. It's a boy or a girl. It's a boy or a girl. I. That's terrible. All right, let's get back on the okay, track here. Let's get like back. at the same time. Let's just say like we're adopting. Magic fingers. Yes, yeah, spirit fingers. Magic fingers. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> so we we are adopting. Um, in the past, I probably would have never thought of, of adoption initially, um, but as time has gone on, we've kind of both have gone down a similar path on um, realizing that it's something that we both want. Adoption is something that's always been um, on my mind. It's something I've always really wanted to do as a family together. Um, I've brought it up for the past few years. It's true, she has. <laughs> to Nick, I've been pretty insistent um, that it's just really important to me. It was pretty heavy on my heart. Um, and so the last few months, we really started talking about it seriously and decided that this is something we wanted to do now. <laughs> As we realize that there are so many children in the world that need um, need a family to love them and we think that we're that family and so that's why we've decided to do this instead of try and get pregnant again. We've chosen to adopt from South Korea. Uh, the process is going to last somewhere between 18 to 24 months which is pretty lengthy but it's well worth the time spent um, to have our, our, our next child come into our lives. There's a lot required, a lot of paperwork, a home study. Um, in the end, we'll actually travel to South Korea twice, two separate occasions. One um, is to kind of do like a court appearance. For, a, for the immigration purposes. Things like that. And then the second one is when we get to bring our new son or daughter home. Yay! Yay. <laughs> We've already talked to our children about this process. They're extremely excited as, as much as I think kids can be in, in this. Um, <laughs> they don't quite understand it as well as we do. Ava, our daughter, who's four, um, is pretty insistent about having a sister, specifically named Rapunzel. It's true. So we'll see if we can find any Rapunzels in South Korea. I'm not hopeful. <laughs> it's possible. Harrison is kind of like a cat, he's happy as long as you feed him. So as long as this new child doesn't affect his feeding schedule, I think he'll be okay. Yeah, <laughs> for the most part, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Together we can conceive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is somehow turned into like the sex talk. <laughs> no, that was there was no sex talk. There was just talking about how we can. When a mommy and a daddy love each other, they fill out a lot of paperwork, and they find a child from That's another country. That's already been born. <laughs> That's already been born. <laughs> that can walk <laughs> and eat like regular food. <laughs> That's how it happens. Stork, right. It's like back in the stork times where the storks will just drop off a child that can oh already be self-sufficient. Good job, stork. We're getting the adoption stork. <laughs> the South Korean version. Mm -hmm. <laughs>